Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to Soccer Band, the RPG episode 16, I think it is. Um, last off we finished, we just got to the riddle of this section. So, um, yeah, let's jump on in here. And see what sort of riddle we got this. Oh, I must have been writing something, but his handwriting makes it virtually illegible. Lewis, good to see you. How was school today? Uh, I guess it was fine. Some kids picked... Splendid! I hope you really learned a lot. Now listen, I would like you to help me with something. Could you please go to the basement and fetch us a bottle of our most expensive white wine? The most expensive one? Yes, we're really going to give a fantastic party. Go. We will spare no expense. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Thank you, Lewis. Right, so we have... Down to the basement. It's going to be this door, right? Nope, that door leads to the toilet, apparently. Uh, sorry. That annoying thing there. So it must be this one then. I have no business in the kitchen right now. It's awfully airy and like. Not airy. Eerie. Is the word I was looking for. So, can't take the, I guess I can't take the shovel now. Mirrors are getting darker and darker. Why not pick it up, Lewis? Might come in handy later. You ever think of that? I've no business in the backyard. Okay, so we can get to the backyard from the basement. I don't know if we need to remember that, but we'll see. Maybe it's not a riddle this time. Maybe it's something a little bit different. So for very kind of alcoholic beverages. Oh, close. It's mostly ale. Right. Okay. Well, oh, white wine. That's the one I'm after. The wine. I have the wine. Let me check. White wine. Alright. We have wine. Let's go get drunk. It's a big ass basement. I'll give it that. Yeah, I'd be pretty impressed if I had a basement this size. So, let's head back to... But he's not going to be here, is he? Something weird's going to happen. I see you brought some wine. Allow me to inspect it for a moment. Ah, excellent. This was the wine I was in for. I should take it to the kitchen momentarily. No problem, Dad. I hope it's appreciated, as always. What's this? A children's room? Oh, and there's that creepy guy again. We meet once again. So it seems. Honestly, I'm done wondering how this guy keeps getting ahead of me. Accepting that as reality, there's more important questions to be answered. Me first. Who in the world are you? Who am I? So you really don't remember me. Your silence speaks louder than words. So, you imply I should recognise you, but I have forgotten. Moving on. No, we won't be moving on until I say so. Why do you keep dodging questions? Just answer me for once. I'm sick and tired of your BS. You probably think you're really tough, besides your desk and all. Oh. Don't you talk to me like that. Interesting to catch a glimpse of your true identity all of a sudden. My... Like I said, I'm moving on to my riddle. Solving it, as usual, provides you with the key required to access the room. 
see those old patterns on the floor next to next to me. Those odd patterns. Uh, yes. I'd like you to view them as a stack of two dice. You can see three eyes on the face of the bottom one, but I will withhold any information regarding the top dice. I would give you the clue. Hold on. I will give you three clues to help you figure out the configuration of the dice. First clue is that the die are all respects identical, even spatially, hence there are no mirror images of each other. Second clue is that the combined number of eyes on the two faces on the back side of the stack is three times that of the faces on the right side. Two touching faces of two dies have a total of nine eyes. What number of eyes do the face touching the floor of the bottom die of the stack have? Does, does, does he mean like... Do you mean like these ones here? You're talking about the odd patterns? Oh, do you mean these? Ah, these, 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 these. Okay, it's like a two die. Sorry, I was just totally oblivious to that whole segment on the thing. Probably because the text was like part way across it, possibly. You can see three eyes on the face of the bottom one. But I will withhold any information regarding the top one. Sorry, how many did he say that there was? One. Two dice. All right, so. Where's my trusty notepad? <laughs> okay, so. So. Die are identical. Combined number of eyes on the two faces on the back side of the stack is three times. So on the back, back side is three times that of the right. The third is that two touching faces of the die have a total of nine eyes. So, the touching sides have got to be nine, but obviously the, so the opposite side to this one here has got to be a four. So we can rule out three and four. Three and four. So that leaves me with, for the bottom one, it leaves me with one, two, five, and six, I think. I kind of want to take a punt already. So the back side is three times that at the right. So it's a four. Oh, 
I want to say it's a one on the bottom. So I'm just thinking. About what's on the top. You've got to make nine on the top. So I was thinking one and six, three and four. I don't know, but that, that would just be like... It's not three and four, so I've got four numbers left to pick from. It's one, two, five, or six. And we know four's on the back of one. But I don't know what's above it. It's really hard to, like, draw... All right, guys, I'm back, and um, what I thought would do was get an actual dice. So we've got three and four, which is um, at the side. So it is at the dice. Looking at the dice, it is either a one or a six on the bottom. So that narrows it down to two more numbers. Now we know that four is on the back, and that's got to be a three. It's going to be three on the top. Four and five is nine. One and... Hold on. It's going to be six. I really could do with a second dice here. I've only got one though. Um, let me think. Three has got to be like that. back side is more than the right side, so the higher number on the back you'd think has got to be, it's got to be the four. So that would put a three. Six and four is ten. We need a multiple of three on the back side because it's three times more. So... Four, five is nine. Two. One. So I think on the back it's got to be four and five. Which means we'll get two and three on the front. And then I'm going to have six. I'm going to find another dice. Jeez, talk about complex. All right, so. Three and four. I've got six on there. And one on there. So. I think. The front is going to be like that. Which is, I don't know if you can make that out. It's a two and a three. Because that makes the back side. Well, no, because I want the one. Yeah, no, two and three. So that makes the right hand side three. And then it makes the back side nine. So underneath we have the number one. I'm going with one. Yes! I just, I, I had to grab some dice. I could not visualize that myself in my head. So, um, for exactly how long have you known me? Here's your prize, the key. The man handed you the key. Be on your way now. You still have a long journey ahead of you. Thanks. Why is he so, he's so elusive. Just, just, just tell me. Just tell me, man. Just tell me. Please. Let's see if this key works. You turn the key and the lock opened. Help is not something you receive. Help is something you must earn. 
It's a game of give and take. A parent of three kids will be assisted when they ask. A homeless man staring into nothingness, absently waving around a tin mug containing a few coins, received nearly nothing. On my way back from school, from the bushes appeared a foul-smelling man, wearing some dirty, inappropriately thick clothes. He grinned at me in a friendly manner. He said nothing, but he shook his little cup under my nose and with his glaze directed my eyes to the mug. A primitive yet touching groan escaped from his lungs as he continued to shake the cup. His intent was not to beg for money. Instead, he wanted to share with me a bit of happiness. In the cup rested a $50 bill. Unable to restrain himself, he jumped up and down and he pointed along the winding road in the direction of my house. He looked into my eyes very intensely and he exposed my soul, my shortcomings, my hatred. You look like that man, he said, though his blabbered words were near, un near unintelligible. Yet you, he paused for a second and calmed himself. You seem scared, he said in almost a whispering voice. I took out a coin from the small wallet I kept in my bag and gently placed it inside his mug making no more sound than a paper bill would have produced. Then I walked away, and just before the next turn, in the unpaved road, I gazed over my shoulder, and I saw the man slowly retreating back into the bushes. As he disappeared, I could clearly, I could clearly discern a look of genuine distress on his face, as if a man had already long forgotten the bill he had received shortly before. Help is not something you receive. Help is something you must earn. It's still a game of give and take. There are always a few deviants, those who will not sheepishly abide by common standards. Those who give everything, but take rarely. There is always us. Alright, so let's go and speak to Father. Uh, is that you, Lewis? Yes, I'm here. Come here, please. I... I... What's wrong, Dad? I... I'm ruined. Ruined? You? How? And why? I, the new CEO, he's not too fond of me. I have nothing to offer him. Sure you do, Dad. You know so much. No! I do not know enough! I heard them talking in the hallways. I'll be fired very soon. There's no room for such a failure like me. Don't give up, Dad. There must be something you can do. I, I'm powerless. So close, I was fully climbing the ladder. And now, just don't tell your mother, okay? Not yet. Come on, Dad. Is there anything I can do to help? I promise I'll do anything. No, I'm afraid not. It's just... Hmm. Maybe there is one thing. You would do anything, you say. Oh, this is a bit... Um... My God, it's absolutely freezing out here. This can't be healthy. I need to find a place with some warmth and as quickly as possible. I don't have time to ponder on the question how on earth the weather changed in such a short amount of time. Maybe I'll lie down for a bit. It's nice and cozy inside. All right, so we'll save it there, guys. As always, we've uh, done the result. Next episode, we will continue on with the soccer band puzzles. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back real soon, but until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. See ya.